Hello, today we will be performing experiment by using Reynolds operators where we will be seeing the different types of growth, lamina and turbulence through this glass tube and we will be measuring the Reynolds number. So, this is the experimental center which comprises of base tank, pump, this upper tank, the glass tube, one more small die tank where we have a die and small pipes which connect this die to the ceilings connected at the end of this glass tube. This is the flow control board and outlet and we have one measuring jar also so that we can find out the actual flow rate which is required to calculate the Reynolds number. This experiment is performed in two ways. Here we have to observe the type of flow and for all these readings we will be also calculating the Reynolds number. So while taking one by one readings we have to first of all take the water to this upper tank then we will stop the pump. When we open this control wall water will start flowing to this glass tube. Being a glass tube is transparent, water is also transparent. We are not able to find out whether the flow is laminar or turbulent, whether there are layers over over the another or there is a turbulence. It is difficult to note down or to see physically, to observe it physically. That's why we have one dye tank where we have added a blue color dye or ink. So when we make on this wall of dye, then this dye will also get mixed into this water and we can observe whether this dye is moving in the same straight line if it is a laminar flow and if it is a turbulent flow this dye will get mixed with the water means it is a turbulent flow so this physical observation will be possible by using this dye now in all these readings at different flow rates along with the observation whether it is a laminar flow or turbulent flow we will be measuring the time required to fill this jar. Okay, so here it is a 1 liter, 1000 ml jar. So by noting this time, we can also find out Q and ultimately we can find out the average velocity of flow by knowing this time. By using the equation Reynolds number is equal to rho V D upon mu, we can find out the Reynolds number. Rho is the density of water which is known, V is the velocity of water which we can find out by the continuity equation Q is equal to A into V, D is the diameter of this glass tube or the characteristic transmission in all other things. So here it is a circular pipe that's why D diameter is the characteristic dimension. Upon mu is the dynamic viscosity of the water. So by using this formula, we will be finding out the Reynolds number for all these readings. The readings which we have to take here, the first observation, the time required for collected water. Now in subsequent part, we will perform the experiment and then we will do the calculation for Reynolds number. Start. Already we have taken the water in this overhead tank. Now we will start the experiment. So this is the flow control wall, now no water is flowing, now we will start flow slowly. So initially we will take readings at lower flow rates so that we can go on observing laminar and conversion of laminar to the turbulent flow in a transition state also can be seen. Now we have started flow rate, now we will start adding this dye. So this is the again flow control wall for dye we can say. So here there is a small needle which is fixed okay and as soon as we have started this here you can see how this dye started coming out of, out of this needle and we now able to observe a continuous straight line from this start to end means the dye added in a layer of water is in the same layer and it will not mixing with the other layers 
means flow is in laminars there is a no turbulence here that's why we have a same straight line of die without any disturbance now at the same flow rate we have to measure the Reynolds number this is the physical observation that we have a laminar flow because the same straight line there is no mixing of die with other layers or remaining water so we have to note down the or we have to calculate the Reynolds number so for this we have this measuring tank so we have to note down the time required for the water collected into this so we have a stopwatch also start so we note down the time required to collect the water here so that we can find out the Q that is actual flow rate and from this actual flow rate by using continuity equation we can find out the average velocity of water flowing through this glass tube once we have this average velocity we will use the formula Reynolds number is equal to rho V D upon mu and we can find out the Reynolds number so that as we are saying the Reynolds number if it is below 2000 it is a laminar flow and above 4000 it is a turbulent flow that also get verified now by observation it is a laminar flow and now with calculation also the Reynolds number should be less than 2000 that will verify so as it is a laminar flow velocity is less flow rate Q is less so it is taking a time to fill this measuring jar we are almost close to it yes so how much is the reading it is around 1 minute and 15 seconds so total there is a 75 seconds required now in all the subsequent readings what we will be doing we will increasing the flow rate we will observe type of flow and we will measure the time required for this now we will just go on increasing the flow rate and we will see the changes in this dark ok put it from this side see now we have increased the velocity slightly still it is the same straight line means it is a laminar flow we have further gone increasing now slightly with this flow rate we can see there is a slight waviness at some places though it is a still a same straight line but there is a slight waviness you can observe so it is waved like this so initially for some time it is the same straight line here the waviness is increased further but still the dye is not mixed in the remaining layers ok now further we will increase the flow rate now this waviness is increased with the next flow rate and at some places now the line is not even visible means here the dye get mixed with the remaining water initially for some time it is a continuous line here it is waviness and then further it is not at all visible now further I will again increase the flow rate now almost for more than half part this line is not at all visible it is visible for only for this some portion then here it is a waviness and for remaining part it is almost invisible means here the turbulency is increased the dye get mixed with the remaining layers and we are not able to differentiate the layer where the dye is added means with increase in flow rate the turbulence is increased with the increase in flow rate again further we can see the line or that color dye get disappeared so this is the physical observation and at all these readings we will be calculating the Reynolds number in subsequent part I will explain you the calculation for the Reynolds number